to without using calculator find the value of each of the following so we say without using calculator so the angle that we can count without using calculator is 30 60 and 45 where you can draw to get what is your this one is 45 means this one and this one is equal this one is set to so this one is 45 so if we have this one 30 and 60 so this one is equal right supposed to be equal so this one all outside is equal so if this one is 2 2 2 so this one half is 1 this one is 2 and this one is set uh, so 2 2 square minus 1 square we get set 3 where we can find our angle okay where this one is 60 degree and this one is 30 degree so we can just use so cha to get what is our angle so a we have cos 75 which is equal to cos so to, we can only use three angle so 75 can be 30 plus 45 so here we can expand using formula this one is a this one is b right so this one is basically cos a cos b we have plus in the formula if plus cos mean negative sine a cos b is 45 sorry sine a 30 sine b is 45 so cos 30 so this one cos adjacent divided by hypotenuse so adjacent is 3 over 2 so cos 45 cos is adjacent divided by hypotenuse so adjacent 1 hypotenuse 1 over 2 minus sine 30 so here is 30 sine is opposite divided by hypotenuse so opposite is 1 this one is 2 so sine 45 so sine opposite divided by hypotenuse opposite by hypotenuse so this one you are supposed to know lah how to use the trigonometric, trigonometric function so here we are going to get which is equal to so this one set 3 minus 1 so we get set 3 minus 1 divided by 2 set 2 so sometimes um, usually they want to normalize this one we don't want to have uh, set below so what we can do is just multiply by set 2 divided by set 2 so in this way you have set 2 set 3 minus 1 divided by 2 set 2 times set 2 you get set 2 square so set 2 square you get 2 so here set 2 times set 3 is set 6 set 2 minus 1 you get set 2 set 2 times negative 1 is set 2 and then here you will get 4 because this one is 2 so b cosecant 105 so here we cannot use formula of cosecant right but we know that cosecant is equal to 1 over sine cosecant is 1 over sine so 1 over sine 105 so since we must use only this three angle so 105 is equal to sine 60 plus 45 which is equal to 1 over so sine 60 plus 45 so using formula a b so we get sine a cos b so plus is plus sine b sine b cos a a is 60 okay so do we have enough space so here 1 over sine 60 so sine is opposite divided by hypotenuse so opposite is set 3 over 2 set 3 over 2 cos 45 cos is adjacent divided by hypotenuse 1 over set 2 plus so here we have sine 45, sine 45 here. So sine is opposite divided by hypotenuse which is 1 over 2. And then here we have cos 60. So cos 60, cos is adjacent by hypotenuse. Adjacent is 1, this one is 1 over 2. So here which is equal to 1 over, so here set 3 over 2, set 2. This one is plus 1 over 2 set 2. 
So, since this one is set 2, so we can combine this one is set 3 plus 1 over 2 set 2. So, when we divide fraction, that means we can multiply opposite which is 2 set 2 divided by set 3 plus 1. So, here we get 2 set 2 divided by set 3 plus 1. So, if you want to make it, you can just leave it this way or if you want to make it like in the answer. So, this one, you see here the answer is 4, right? So, that means it's eliminate this one which is time set 2 divided by set 2. So, here we get set 2 and set 2. 2 set 2 square divided by set 2 times set 3 we get set 6. 1 times set 2 we get set 2. So, this one and this one can be cancelled out. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 over 6 plus set 2. So, C for tangent 1, 9, 5. So, you see here we only have 30, 60, 45. So, there's no way you can add up to make it 195. But then you see that we have, uh, that we know that when we have quadrant, so we can make it into, we can find the reference angle from this 3. So, cotangent 1, 9, 5, it can also equal to, cotangent is equal to tangent, right? Because the formula can be sine cos tangent. So, cotangent 195 is equal to 1 over tangent 195. So, here 95. So, here it can be 45 obviously tangent 45 plus. So, 45 what is left? 150. Right. So, here we can expand first and then we, we know that tangent 150 is on the second quadrant where we know that STC so, STC mean on the second quadrant only sign is positive. So, if we have 150 and it is tangent, then later on, when we get the value, it will be negative value. So, here we expand first. So, using formula, so tangent A plus B is equal to tangent A. Tangent A is 45, right? Plus tangent B is tangent 150 divided by 1 minus so this one is plus right so this one is plus plus minus so this one you can see the formula so tangent 150 which is equal so we know that when we divide we fraction is actually we multiply opposite so it will become 1 minus Tangent 45, tangent 150 divided by tangent 45 plus tangent 150. Is it correct? Okay. This one is plus plus, right? Which is equal to... So, we can see that tangent 45, which is equal to 1 minus tangent 45, opposite divided by adjacent is 1. So, this one is equal to 1. This one is equal to 1. So, 1 minus tangent 150 divided by, this one is 1 plus tangent 150. This one is plus, okay, which is equal to. So, we have tangent 150, right? So, tangent 150, the, the reference angle is 30, right? Because we have 150, so where can I draw? So, we have 150, so this one is 30. So, tangent 30, you see here, tangent 30, 30 is here. So, tangent is opposite by adjacent. Opposite is 1, adjacent. Opposite is 1, adjacent is 3, right? So, you see here, tangent 30 is equal to 1 over set 3. But this one is tangent 30. But we know that 150 is at the second quadrant, where at the second quadrant, tangent is negative. So, 1 minus, so this one, we will get negative 1 over set 3 divided. This one is 1 plus, this one is also equal. So, this one is negative, negative 1 over set 3. Which is equal to 1 over 1 plus 3 divided by this one is 1 minus 1 over 3. 
which is equal to so we want to combine like we have to make the denominator equal so this one times set 3 over set 3 this one also set 3 over set 3 so this one is set 3 plus 1 over set 3 divided by this one is set 3 minus 1 divided by set 3 so this one can be cancelled out so we are left with set 3 plus 1 divided by set 3 minus 1